you know, I don't really like driving down this street or being in this particular neighborhood. In my opinion, this is one of the worst, most blighted neighborhoods, not only in Cleveland, but in the USA. Right? Yeah, this guy is... came out the other day, stole his van. My dad lives right there. I left the key up one, one minute, jumped in, took off. I don't really like driving through these neighborhoods or having to come down to a lot of these neighborhoods because, you know, oftentimes they're just so sketchy, man. Like, it's, you know, it's, it's just dangerous. You want to watch your light real quick? There we go. According to the landlord, she believes you have cost her in the ballpark of fifteen thousand dollars. I don't think I cost her fifteen thousand dollars. If it comes down to it, dude, if somebody starts approaching the car, yeah. we're at a stoplight long enough. Just ram through, long through whoever. I think she should have given us a chance. I mean, we'd been there for three years, and we were always we were always early. And like I said, I know the house the house got bad in the last year, and and we never intended for that to happen. But we were working on fixing it. Yeah. You know what generation that was? The boomers. I knew that was coming. Hey, you have your pole? Yeah. Yeah. The pole is here for the reason. Wait, if everybody's going to fall through, it's going to be me. Oh, that stuck. No, you don't have to go first. I'm just saying, like, as... Yeah, why are we sending the biggest guy? Well, if it holds me, it holds everyone. Exactly. Yeah, you yeah. also sign our paychecks? Yeah, so I kind of need to... Well, if he breaks his leg, it's still working, so I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody stole the door over here. So, we're coming through. Yeah. I don't know. Go to the bus stop right there. And I had the coffee. I got the bulletproof glass down there. Which is... Yeah. That's some good foot massaging tubs. I was ready to take that home. <laughs> you should. Foot massage yeah. time, ain't it? Oh, that's a foot massage. Put the feet up there and... The... Hmm? Oh man, that doesn't sound like you can beat that. Yeah. Too, I don't have a tub anymore, that's too bad. I we got, only have a stand up I shower. I got a personal tub, not personal. Uh, I start off fresh in the morning, but the end of the day, I ain't worth jack shit. I swear, man, my body be beat down. As of last night. <laughs> you good if you want to cut through, Pat. My son bought a house and I'm trying to help him finish it. Don't bump me, man. I'm trying to make some cinematic masterpiece right now. Well, I'm trying to avoid that murder of myself. Yeah. I mean, there's nobody in here. Well, it's just not lucky. Don't walk back on this, though. It's all soft. It's one of the worst fucking stuff I've ever seen in my life, dude. Yeah. Pretty bad. Like we'll finish in the bathroom and then we'll play on the fucking basement walk again. What happened here? Uh I've been fixing the roof, but you know, I put the rubber up there. I put, oh man, I put compounds and stuff up there. I just, I can never take it out. I mean, this right here was always all right. This just through the dampness.
I don't know if I focus so much on the shitty parts, you know? I mean, it's obviously unavoidable. Yeah, it's all shitty. <laughs> <laughs> so I think we finish up in that other bathroom over there. Some drone footage. That tub it is. Look at that shit, dude. They wanted to keep living here, too. And they wonder why they got kicked out. Want to switch spots with me? Nothing would make me happier. Wet wipes. I'm gonna be folks, so I, I got up there and reinforced all the holes and put that up there. Take pictures of it, man. I thought I would do it or something. Back to you. You wanna go first? No, I'm gone. Some of it a year, yeah, and and the latest been like possible six year pretty big apartment. Somebody wants to yeah, yeah, too because there's yeah, the door there, there, and I'm assuming there, there is an like yeah, yeah, here. Yeah, there's a door right here. It so much sure. that I think it's probably juggling, yeah. but the roof was bad anyway too, cause yeah. I kept going up there putting money up there, man. I put the roof up there. Yeah, I think it's gonna be too dark. I don't think you can really see on my uh. Camera. Dude, there's an occupancy permit here from 1977. It's still hanging here, which is more amazing. Mailbox is stolen. That used to be in the wall there. Damn. I've never used it, I uh, had to use it before, um, but you know, if it comes down to it, I'd rather have it and not need it, have it and not use it, rather than not have it and end up dead, right? You know, my kids become fatherless because I was trying to, uh, you know, buy real estate. Uh, in the wrong neighborhood without you know being prepared like that's the kind of stuff that people from out of town they really don't understand all this water that you see right here just dumping out onto the driveway the damage to the side of this house this guy he wasn't even there he doesn't know what happened this just randomly occurred it must be our fault as the property manager or the landlord so we need to get out there and fix that situation you guys the owners does he have people been staying in the basement uh, the guy so came out the other day, stole this van. My dad lives right there. I left the key. I went for one minute, jumped in, took off. The cops found him in five minutes. But yeah, you got to do something, man. Yeah, that's, that's what we're here trying to clear it out. Right, like the level of poverty and, and crime and, and drug addiction uh, that is prominent in neighborhoods like this, man. Certain areas are, are too hard to make money in a safe manner right like i'm driving down the street right now and you know i don't really like driving down this street or being in this particular neighborhood in my opinion this is one of the worst most blighted neighborhoods not only in cleveland but in the usa according to the landlord she believes you have cost her in the ballpark of fifteen thousand dollars i don't think i cost her fifteen thousand dollars
All right, so we are now cruising through uh, the hood. You get a lot of people, you know, in the Cleveland market that are kind of unfamiliar with town and the various, you know, neighborhoods and, and the level of risk and, and the crime amount, right? And, you know, that's why I created that uh, blog, the living blog, The Ultimate Guide to Great in Cleveland Neighborhoods. I wrote that, you know, as I talk right now, seven years ago. I wrote that in 2015. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to Holton Wise TV for more financial information, education, and entertainment.